everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Natasha or Cold Brew Hour, and today is a very exciting day because we are talking about BDS coffee. Now, I have been dying to try this out because I am a massive army. I love, 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 love BDS, and I think that's important. It's important to remember it in this video to jog your memory I've got the photo cards of the members just as proof that I'm not a fake army love BTS because I don't have a good feeling about this video I love them but I also love coffee and I'm very skeptical of these pre-made kind of coffee drinks so let's give it a shot let's see is BTS coffee actually actually good or is it just popular because armies love it well i have this and i'm never gonna throw it away these are gonna be with me forever so worth it okay so let's begin by talking about what bts coffee actually is it is a pre-packaged coffee drink and you can get it in a cold brew americana version or you can get it in a hot brew vanilla latte and it is made by this brand HY in Korea but I read online that it was in collaboration with a USA barista champion Charles Babinski and so it was like expertly curated it is 100% Arabica beans according to the internet and it is really hyped people love it people think it's so good and I'm sorry but I have a confession I already have my coffee poured and ready because I wanted to film the cold brew for Instagram like a little unboxing and I wanted to heat the hot brew up so we can actually try it out the way it's intended to now let's begin with the cold brew Americano now my first problem here and this is me being extremely nitpicky is that cold brew Americano isn't a thing an Americano is one shot of espresso with water and cold brew is a completely different way of slow brewing your coffee where you put coffee grounds and water and you leave it for a minimum of 28 hours but you know most people leave it between 24 to 48 hours and the drink that it extracts is a completely different coffee it's not an Americano and now I know that everyone probably knows Americano as black coffee but just because both Americanos and cold brews are black coffee they aren't synonymous and this according to the internet is a cold brew so it's a slow steamed coffee so keep that in mind now for the most important part how does this taste it tastes like a generic cold brew it tastes like a prepackaged generic cold brew there isn't anything special about it sadly I was expecting that this would be something different and I would be blown away like internally I was like please 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 let this be really special it's not it's generic I don't even like it a lot I'm not the biggest fan of it the packaging on the other hand yeah that's thing with me but the coffee isn't great it's just fine To pinpoint flavors in this is really difficult it just tastes it smells a little bit yeasty a little bit fermented which is something I noticed when I tried another Korean like pre-packaged cold brew which was that it tasted fermented a little bit weird and that's not because it's expired because this isn't expired it is well within its expiration date but I think that yeasty smell is really unsettling it was unsettling the first time i tried something there from there and it's unsettling here so that's something that i wanted to point out it has faint coffee taste like you can tell that this is coffee but you can also tell that this isn't good coffee there isn't any notes that are jumping out at me and something that's super exceptional so yeah i think for the cold brew wrong saying that but for the cold brew americano i think it's barely like a 1.5 out of 5. now moving on 
to the hot brew vanilla latte. I have more expectations from this because I feel like it's harder to mess up a vanilla latte. Vanilla lattes are easy. Vanilla lattes are straightforward. They are just milk, espresso, and vanilla syrup. So it's easy to mess that up. So I have higher expectations from this, even though I am more of a black coffee fan. So I prefer my drinks black and I don't think I would voluntarily buy this to consume for myself. But that does not stop us from reviewing it, right? I think it's the same thing as the hot brew and we've just added milk and a very faint hint of vanilla to it it's so lackluster i mean sure would i drink both of these if you gave me it yes like i don't think they're appalling i don't think they're bad but i just think that I think that it's nothing special at all and I'm not I'm not surprised now of course not everybody is super nitty grittily into coffee as much as I am and if you enjoy these I'm so happy that you do I'm so happy that you find something that you like to drink and continue to drink them good for you but would I say that they're worth getting especially at the price tag of 300 rupees per bottle no absolutely not if you want to keep these bottles forever maybe yes maybe it's worth the collection but is it worth the drink absolutely not to wrap up this video i think we should discuss the pros and the cons so you guys can decide whether you want to give this coffee a shot or not and i'm just going to give common pros and cons for both the cold brew as well as the hot brew because i think it's pretty alike the cold brew just is not sweetened and does not have any milk and the hot brew is of course it has milk and it is sweetened so pick your preference but they taste pretty much alike flavor wise the pros are it comes in the bts packaging and you can keep this forever and ever and ever yes it is convenient it is easy to carry it is a small and sweet way of supporting and appreciating your favorite artist and if you want to do that absolutely i stand um and the cons it really lacks every single coffee flavor there is the cold brew has a very strong like is a little bit unsettling when you try to drink it and you take a sniff and sniff it's just a little unsettling when you try to drink it and you get a whiff of that fermenty smell it makes you feel like it's gone bad and like overall like it's not good coffee it's it's just not so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little review rant exciting bts coffee conversations and if you like bts tell me in the comments below who's your favorite member who's your bias my bias is rm but j-hope and sugar are my bias wreckers i love the rap line like i love everyone love the vocal line love everyone but i think i just have a special place in my heart for rm and like the whole of the rap line so yeah those are my biases. Let me know what your biases are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.